assalamu alaikum this video is about wrist drop also known as radial nerve palsy so first of all we will check the definition of wrist drop according to definition wrist drop is disorder caused by radial nerve palsy because of the radial nerve innervation of the extensor muscles of the wrist and digits those whose radial nerve function has been compromised they cannot actively extend their hand as you can see the path of radial nerve this nerve is very crucial for the extensors of forearm and wrist and also the digits whenever this radial nerve is damaged the extension of the wrist is also compromised wrist drop is caused by damage to the radial nerve which travels to the arm and controls the movement of the tricep muscles at the back of the upper arm because of several conditions there is another cause of wrist drop and the cause is the brachial plexus injury when the nerves that originate lower at the brachial plexus are injured the arm wrist and hands are affected it will lead to numbness and loss of feelings in the hand and in the arm as well along with inability to move or uh, inability to control the movements of the shoulder uh, the arm wrist or the hand moving towards the symptoms the symptoms include numbness of the triceps down to the fingers pinching and grasping difficulties that you cannot pinch or you cannot grab grasp anything even paper inability to control the muscles of the triceps to the fingers and eventually results in wrist drop after the causes and symptoms we will check how to diagnose wrist drop similar to the carpal tunnel syndrome as uh, that was also a nerve injury a nerve conduction velocity test was carried out in the wrist drop the workout for the wrist drop frequently includes the nerve conduction velocity studies to isolate and to confirm the radial nerve as the source of the problem there is also a screening test that includes the inability to extend the thumb into a hitchhiker's sign then comes how to assess the wrist drop there is a small procedure to perform this assessment test for this the back of the hand should be facing the ceiling and the fingers should be pointed downwards an individual uh, with a wrist drop will be unable to move the hand uh from this position to one where the wrist and the fingers are straight and the picture uh, will be shown uh in in the uh, wrist drop test some tests uh, can also be performed to assess the wrist drop or radial nerve palsy that is wrist drop test and uh, thumb extension test and supination test how to perform these tests is explained in the next slides for the thumb extension test the patient is seated the examiner grasps the patient's wrist with one hand and presses the thumb into adduction with the other hand as you can see in a then the patient is asked to extend or abduct both the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints of the thumb as you can see in the b part thumb extension test requires an intact radial nerve when there is a damage to this nerve thumb extension will be weakened or it is impossible as a result of paralysis of extensor pollicis longus and brevis for the supination test supination test the patient is seated holding the elbow slightly flexed and the forearm pronated the patient uh, the elbow is held alongside the trunk to minimize motion in the shoulders as you can see in the picture above the patient is then asked to supinate his or her forearm at first normally and then against the examiner's resistance that you can provide resistance if the patient can actively perform that you can provide resistance weakness or loss of supinated uh, supination of the forearm is a sign of uh, paresis of the sup supinator muscles which is supplied by the deep branch of radial nerve so uh, in this case we will conclude that the radial nerve is damaged Supination test evaluates the compression neuropathy of deep branches of the radial nerve also. For the wrist drop test the patient is asked to extend his or her wrist 
with the elbow flexed 90 degree as you can see in the A part of this image. In the radial nerve palsy affecting uh, the wrist extensors, the patient will be unable to extend the wrist as we have discussed it before. The hand will hang down in a deformity commonly known as a wrist drop. And this is the picture that I have talked about earlier in the assessment test for the radial nerve palsy. Once it is confirmed that it is radial nerve injury and the wrist drop, following procedures can be followed. Splinting of the wrist for support along with the uh, any kind of medicine that is osteopathic medicines plus physiotherapy plus occupational therapy. This type of uh, splints can be used for wrist drop patients to keep the wrist in extended form so that it can strengthen the wrist and the hand extensors. Now this slide is showing the placement of TENS or EMS pads on the forearm and hands. EMS that is electrical muscle stimulator helps to strengthen the muscles and the vibrations will help to mimic the pain signals from the nervous system also. Then comes the ultrasound modality. This ultrasound waves will help the regeneration of damaged nerve and helps, the, uh, helps to uh, recover the nerve and restores the function as soon as possible. After elective therapy, following exercises should be performed by the physiotherapist and guided to be carried out at home to the patients. The exercises include the wrist's active uh, range of motion that includes the flexion and extension with empty handed and uh, forearms pronation and supination with empty handed, uh, then wrist flexion, extension, and radial deviation with some weight in the hand, like some kind of ball or uh, any kind of weight bearing thing, forearm pronation and supination with some kind of weight in the hand and in the last elbow active flexion and extension. Straighten your arm with your palm facing down and bend your wrist so that your fingers point down. Gently pull your hand toward your body uh, until you feel a stretch on the outside of your forearm. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds and then repeat 5 times and then perform the stretch on the other arm. Then uh, it's, ball, uh, it's ball squeeze test. Find a soft foam ball. Wrap all the 5 of your fingers around the ball and squeeze and then relax your hand and repeat this at least 15 times. This is also known as uh, the grip strengthening exercises and this is very important for uh, wrist drop uh, patients also. This slide is showing all the exercises that I have explained in the last two slides, but in practical form. These exercises should be performed by physiotherapists and guided to the patient for home sessions. So this was all about the wrist drop and somehow about the radial nerve palsy. You can use this video for presentation purpose and for learning. Also for more videos and customized videos or the videos on the topics you want us to make you can tell us in the comment section and in the last do subscribe our youtube channel